Okay, welcome back everybody. Um, now I'm going to talk, as I mentioned in the last video, about a place. Like I said in the last video, um, it's not necessarily a restaurant review, because it, granted it has food there, but that's not the main thing. Um, it's not the main reason why Tony and I go there. If we wanted to eat, we'd do it lo a little more local. Um, if you might have guessed, Tony and I went yesterday on October the 16th of 2010 to the Ohio Renaissance Festival. Well, there's um, attached to this video in the comment or in the description part, I'm going to actually attach the um, link to my blogger page for the Renaissance Festival because I actually have the photos from yesterday and some other commentary on there that I want to share with you guys because. What it is, is I actually describe what the guy looks like a little bit better in the um, blog than I, what I will hear. But <clears throat> what it is, is I have a little bit of a bone to pick with Chunky, or yeah, or Chunky, or whatever he was called. Um, we went, like I said yesterday, to the Renfest, the Ohio Renaissance Festival. Well, Chunky wasn't there for the mud show. Some guy dressed in like a white shirt and a blue plaid kilt was there with a woolly head. Um, he was doing Chunky's part. Tony and I looked at each other and said, um, no. Dude was wrong for the part. I mean, I mean, yeah, he did, you know, all the jokes and everything fine and what have you, but, I mean, not good enough for our liking, because Chunky was our butt, you know, he, we loved seeing him up there, because, uh, like I mentioned in a previous video about the festival, uh, the one, Tony and I got married back in 05, we had on those matching shirts, and I've told this story, you know, we're there, we show up for the mud show, and we're sitting up there, and we're sitting fairly close to the front, mind you. You know, it's like we're on like all the way in the front, like on the left-hand side where, you know, it's less likely for you to get mud slung on you at the show, because they do sling mud. Um, and what happens is, is it's the opening show, and he goes, Foreigners, ooh, Kentucky's, and I go, woohoo! No, you gotta remember, I got on this shirt that says just married, you know, and he does too. <laughs> and, um, he, Chunky takes a look at our shirts and go, and reads what it says, you know, and it has our names on it and the date we were married and it says hot tub club, blah, 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 you know, honeymoon hot tub club. Well, he says, he says, you're from Kentucky, you just got married, so that means, hmm, you must be on your honeymoon. He, and he said, ladies and gentlemen, this couple over here just got married and he had us stand up and Get, it's a good couple stand up so we can give you a round of applause and you know whatever um we got a standing ovation and it was romance weekend it was also my mom's birthday that day <laughs> which is the funniest thing i told my mom about that she laughed um i said that was funny but yeah i mean it's stuff like that that i remember about the festival and i always in, that's part of the reason why we went to the mud show was to see him just because we were going to wave at him and say whoa it's chunky you know he wasn't there that guy that, that took his place is we willy winky or whatever he was called it was willy something i couldn't hear couldn't hear what the, there was like two words and Willie I think was the first one or Willie Washer or something um, I call him Willie Winky on the blog but it was something like that um, I, we just did not care for him he was not good I mean you know so Chunky if you're watching this dude come back because we missed you okay uh, um, you know there was actually people miss seeing you there um, you know, but we had a good time because Tony and I went there with a couple of friends that we weren't trying to hook up. Because <laughs> there was, we have a couple of friends that, don't get me wrong, they're both single and I like both of them, but the guy, there's no polite way to say that that man's an odd duck, okay? He is an odd bird, okay? Um, the girl... She and I worked together, and I was just glad to get away from the odd duck, okay? 
that odd duck friend of my husband's. Um, yeah, I was like, she didn't care for him. I'm like, just rolling my eyes. I'm like, Jesus Christ, yeah. But anyway, um, we had a good time. There's pictures on Blogger. Uh, if you want to see them, I'm, like I mentioned before, you know, I'm going to provide the link for Blogger in with this video so that way you can click on it and go over and see them. But anyway, um, if you want to go with us next year, because today was the last day, and seeing that right now, according to my computer, it's 7.09 p.m., they've been closed now for over an hour because it runs from 10.30 to 6 or 6.30, something like that. But they've been closed for about half hour to an hour, okay? So if you want to go next year, you know, um, and meet Tony and myself, you know, let us know when we... You know, know for sure which day we're going. We'll definitely, you know, let you all know, and you'll be welcome to join us. Okay. But anyway, I wanted to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a good evening. Bye.